Okay, a few stories I want to discuss today. A couple from Scotland and Canada and one from right here in America. Let's start in Scotland. Did you hear the latest about J.K. Rowling? She has been speaking out recently about the Scottish Hate Crime Act, a bill that has criminal consequences for saying anything deemed to be hateful. To quote Rowling in a recent viral post on X, quote, The new legislation is wide open to abuse by activists who wish to silence those of us speaking out about the dangers of eliminating women's and girls' single-sex spaces. The grotesque unfairness of allowing males to compete in female sports and the reality and immutability of biological sex. She then ended her post with a direct challenge to the Scottish government, saying, quote, If what I've written here qualifies as an offense under the terms of the new act, I look forward to being arrested when I return to the birthplace of of the Scottish Enlightenment. She's challenging. Now, I guess lucky for Scotland that her tweets have been declared as not criminal by the Scottish police. They're not going to they're not going to go after her. Really? Well, she's responded and said, "Okay, uh I'm probably the loudest voice on all of these things. What happens to the little people?" And by the way, if you're a little person and you want to speak out, I'll retweet what you say. Maybe they'll arrest me then. She's going in to challenge this. Now, let's look back on something that I've already told you about in Canada. Remember Can- Canadian, uh, Canadian uh, Online Harms Act that could lead to life in prison for individuals found guilty of certain types of speech. The bill's purpose is to increase punishments for what it deems, quote, the willful promotion of hatred. But what is willful willful promotion of hatred? Well, whatever those in control deem to be hateful. Saying bless you when someone sneezes, raising your biological son to be a boy, anything that the powers that be don't agree with. And it's happening all over the world. And America is now laying the groundwork for it to happen here. Don't believe me? According to the Seattle Times, Washington state lawmakers have passed a bill to create a hotline for hate crimes and bias incidences. Washington will soon establish a non-emergency hotline to assist people who have, quote, been targeted by hate crimes And bias. The bill defines bias as incidents, quote, that are hostile expressions of animus toward the following categories, actual or perceived race, color, ethnicity, religion, ancestry, national order, order, gender, sexual orientation, gender expression or identity, or disability. Hmm. So... Don't worry, there's no chance of anything backfiring here. Uh, Not in a country full of microaggressions. Uh, No, no, no. Don't worry. Americans would never take anything you say out of context, you know? (laughs) Because if they did, this would be a bloodbath. Oh, well, wait a minute. He's done it again. Amazing. That's, uh, you could see how that one might backfire a little bit. Yeah. Although I guess it's not really backfiring if that's the outcome you want. Exactly right. I mean, if you're uh, if you're a Democrat and you use the word bloodbath, well, I mean, if you're a Republican or named Trump, you should be immediately reported to the hotline for an act of verbal violence. How about the firefighter that flags a thin red line flag at their firehouse? Nobody would be uh, offended by that, right? I mean, it's not like they're the police. People like firefighters. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. New York has decided that the flag was too offensive to fly. Apparently, only the pride flag is allowed by the LGBTQIAPK2S. Mr. I, Q, Mr. I. I. I oh, there's the I. And uh, infinity. Did you put two in there? Flag. Yes, okay, I did. Good, good. Uh, only one two, though. Should I have I two twos think- or just one? 
I mean, if you're two spirits, we should probably hit both sides of that. Okay, so, so two, two twos. Two. And we could even throw a second, a third two in there just to be safe. Yeah, good idea. Surely you'll have the First Amendment right to protest. I mean, the hotline will never be against you protesting, say, I don't know, an abortion center. Oh, dang it. That's right. Biden administration has already started the precedent for that one. So I guess if you're, if you're just protesting for a leftist cause... You know, if if you're doing that, then there you're fine. But if you're not part of the left, you're going to get reported um, because of being offended is the number one goal in this society. And this bill gives people the outlet they've been searching for. You'll probably be reported if you're a leftist, but nobody will do anything about it. This bill is a direct violation of the First Amendment. The bill, by the way, doesn't have any way for you if you're innocent to clear your name you're just falsely accused and that's it how soon will that list of people who have been accused of hate crimes and bias incidents be used against them to take away other basic human rights like the right to bear arms the right to actually open up a bank account this type of censorship is happening all over the world and Legal consequences are happening all over the world. They're trying to strip your rights away chunk by chunk, and pretty soon you won't have any left. What J.K. Rowling is experiencing is a window into what they're trying to do here. But she's not backing down. She kind of knows about um, oppression, she wrote in one of her Harry Potter, Potter novels, uh, which I think is, is uh, pretty astute and should be applied here. Dumbledore said, Have you any idea how much tyrants fear the people they oppress? All of them realize that one day, amongst their many victims, there is sure to be one who rises against them and strikes back. Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling.